Good morning everybody, it's DC here again. It's the uh, 11th of June, 19. Um, and we're just, I'm looking at uh, the Bifla or Bifla coil today. Um, the experiment uh, goes on. <laughs> um, I've en identified a field that's around this scaffold tube now and I, it's looking, <laughs> it's looking good. Um, so, where do I start? Um, same sort of arrangement, boys and girls. Um, we've got a power supply. I've dropped it down to uh, 10 volts this morning, a little bit lower. We've got the DC motor with the spark gap here. We've got the uh, coil, the car coil, 30,000 volts from, from 12 volts. Um, we've got a scaffold tube. Um, we've got a fluorescent tube, fluorescent tube, magnets scaffold tube and this time i'm just laying the bifler coils these are three bifler coils connected together in series i'm just laying them on these two scaffold tubes this scaffold tube's the live one with the with the pulse going through it and this one's just lying there to support these uh, bifler coils uh, what i'm going to do today is just show you what happens when i take this connection off here which is running from here if you like the earth side or the other side of the, the fluorescent tube to where the power's put in and then <clears throat> it's connected there I'll disconnect it and you'll see the voltage drop hopefully um, I've taken some advice and taken the multimeter further away from the flux field because it could have been affecting it uh, yesterday um, so that's the scenario <laughs> Going to fire it up with 10 volts and we'll see how we go on. Okay, bear with me. So we're, we're running about 300 volts now, um, AC. And uh, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and dis disconnect here. The, the, the bifler coils. I'm going to have to be careful because I'm, I don't want to shock myself here. So it's still connected at the moment. Right, disconnected. And it's dropped, dropped right down. And it's gone to DC as well. So I'm going to connect again. And it's gone to DC again. How oh, interesting. Didn't expect that. So there's, there, there is an output. I still haven't found out whether it's DC or AC. Um, I'm open-minded about that. Um, so that's as far as I'm, I'm going now with this setup. Uh, I'm going to dismantle everything here and start again with a couple of ideas that I've got but still using the magnets and the fluorescent tube and the scaffold tube so uh, there we go folks um, just get my neon tester again to have a little look at the flux and we'll put the lights out and then we'll call it a draw for now so it'll be a while perhaps a while till I do my next video And this is a scaffold tube that's absolutely remote and it's, it's really live. This is the, the, the bifur coil, which is live. So there we go, folks. And uh, I just what I will do while I'm still here, <laughs> I'll disconnect this the bifur and we'll connect it to Earth. Oh, I can. I don't electrocute myself. Right, it's connected here so that you can see that things are, that the tubes are a lot brighter. But there's obviously, there's, I don't think there's as much flux, there's not as much flux coming off now. And it'd be interesting just to see what the, uh, 
the power output is as well. Yeah, that's dropped. 32 volts. 33 volts. At 10 volts here. Okay, it's very interesting, folks. Thank you very much for following my channel. Uh, it's going to be a while now. I'm going to do a bit of construction work, reconstruct, reconfigure it, um, this, this lot, and come up with some ideas. All right? It's DC signing out. not certain whether it's AC or DC um, I haven't got an oscilloscope to work with so I've blown two oscilloscopes up DC signing out